Welcome to JSON tutorial. So today we will learn about how to convert SQL table to JSON in SQL Server. This is about myself. I have total 16 years of IT experience. Mostly I worked on Microsoft technologies. Okay, these are the technology I worked. You can email me on this email ID. So today's agenda is how to convert SQL table to JSON in SQL Server. Okay, so we will create this employee table in SQL Server with this, these columns. For an example, employee ID, name and address. And these are the details we are going to create in, uh, we are going to insert in this table. Okay, so we will convert this table into JSON object. Okay, so JSON, we have already discussed, this is an array type and these, these are the objects inside that. Okay, so let's see how to convert in SQL Server. Okay, so I have opened a Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio in which I have created a database. Okay, so let's create this employee table. Okay, so I have written, already written the scripts of creating the employee table and insertion script and the select script. Okay, so let's uh, execute one by one. So let's create this table employee. Okay, with the uh, with the column employee ID, name and address. So let me execute now the table has been created employee table okay so let's insert these four records in the employee table okay so uh, you can uh, like see here in the fourth record i have inserted null in address field okay so we will see that how this got converted into um, these values got converted into json okay so let me insert these four records okay it is showing that four records got inserted okay let's select that all the records are like shown uh, like inserted successfully in that okay so these are the four records employee records which are got inserted and one is having none value so let's see how to convert this employee table into json okay so i have already written a sql, SQL script here so what you need to write you have to write select these columns employee id employee name and address from this employee table and you have to write json for json path and for this line means that you are going to include null value also okay so we have already discussed that in one one null value we have already inserted here so this is for like to show in the json okay so let's execute this so you will see that this got converted into a json string okay so let us let me for let us see that how uh, how this is visible in json formatter so let me copy this and uh, i have already opened opened a json formatter so let me copy paste this and uh, click on format and beautify you will see that it got formatted here okay so let me copy in um, notepad it will be visible properly okay you can see that this is this are the json object these are the four json object which which got converted into json okay so this is an array and these are the objects okay you you can see that this one object can address has a having the null value so in this way sql table got converted into json okay so let's see if we will remove include null value then what will happen okay so i am going to remove include null value and executing this query and th this is the json part okay so let's uh, let me open this json and you will see that at the end the address part has been removed because it has the null value and we have removed the uh, from the query null part okay so in rest of the uh, json objects address is there okay so in last object address has null so it has been removed this is the use of include null value okay okay so let us discuss without array wrapper so what is its use like it will remove the array part okay so the if you want the output like this one okay so you have to use without array wrapper part okay so what you need to write is select then in bracket you have to write select then these columns names for json path include null value uh, from here to we have already discussed and if you want the output in this format then you have to write without array wrapper so uh, in previous output array part is there inside the array uh, it we have four objects okay so but in that we don't want an array part and we want the output in this format okay so if you will execute this you will get this output in the format without an array okay 
सो फ्रेंड्स इट्स ए रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज सपोर्टर्स प्लीज लाइक आवर वीडियो एंड जस्ट सब्सक्राइब आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स so let me show you how to search my channel in youtube okay so just go to youtube and in search bar just type j y e o n s geon stack okay just click on search you will find this channel okay and this is my channel name geon stack i request you to just click on subscribe and press the bell icon as well